In this video, let's solve the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function x by e to the exponent of x. And to help us, we have some useful limit laws on the right-hand side of the screen here. And firstly, let's apply limit law number 3, where we try to evaluate this as the product of two limits. So let's try this as the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x by the limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the x. Well here, the first term approaches negative infinity by the second term approaches 0. Okay, so if we do a quick sketch of the function e to the x here, as we move towards the left to negative infinity, the function asymptotes towards 0. So we have a result that doesn't really make sense here because we have negative infinity by 0. So it can either be negative infinity or it can be 0. But we can't be sure what it's going to be. So what we're going to have to do is transform this limit into one where we can get a more sensible answer. So let's do some clever algebraic manipulation because we've got x by e to the x is equal to, obviously, x multiplied by e to the x. We can turn this multiplication sign into a division by using one of our elementary fraction laws or fraction rules. So we can divide by the reciprocal of the second term, which will turn it into 1 over e to the x, which we can write as x divided by e to the negative x, which we can write as x over e to the negative x. All right, so now the limit as x approaches infinity, negative infinity of x by e to the negative x, sorry, e to the x, is equal to the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x over e to the negative x. This now looks like a case of limit law number four, which we can separate into the division of two limits. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x over the limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the negative x. And for this one, the top term again goes to negative infinity, but now the bottom term goes to positive infinity. Okay, so substituting a negative into the negative exponent turns it into a positive, so the further we go along to the right, the larger the number gets. So now we have another indeterminate form. What's the answer of infinity divided by infinity? Uh, we can't get an answer to that one. But we do have another tool up our sleeve, which is L'Hopital's rule. And we have covered this in previous videos, but to quickly recap, if we have an indeterminate form of a limit, that is, we've got 0 over 0, or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, then by L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x approaches something, let's call it a, of f of x over another function, g of x, by L'Hopital's rule, that's equal to the limit as x approaches a of the first derivative of f over the first derivative of g. So with that, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x over e to the negative x, we can evaluate that as the limit as x approaches negative infinity. The first derivative of x is equal to 1. And the first derivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. Okay, so the top limit remains as 1. The bottom limit goes to negative infinity. So the answer is, the negative can come out the front. 1 over an arbitrarily large number is going to approach 0. So we have negative 0, which is equal to 
zero. So therefore, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x by e to the x is equal to zero. So we'll box this answer and you can keep this in your table of limits for future reference. Now for some visual confirmation of this result, let's have a look at the graph. So this sine curve is the function f is equal to x by e to the power of x. And as you can see, as we go along towards larger negative values of x, so as x approaches negative infinity, we see that the curve does indeed approach zero. Okay, so um, I hope this has been a good lesson. Give us a like, subscribe, and share it with all your classmates. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll see you on the next video.